On November 21, 2002, the U.S. Navy and the Missile Defense Agency completed their third successful intercept of a ballistic missile from the sea. A test target vehicle, TTV, was launched from the Pacific Missile Range Facility on the island of Kauai. The target flew a nominal trajectory with a velocity of over 5,000 miles per hour. On board USS Lake Erie, the Aegis weapon system detected and immediately transitioned to track as the target broke the radar horizon. Approximately 90 seconds after target launch, USS Lake Erie fired the standard missile three. The missile completed Mark 72 booster burn and separation, followed by Mark 104 dual thrust rocket motor burn and separation. An airborne camera tracked the missile throughout most of its flight. After Mark 104 separation, the Mark 136 third stage rocket motor, or TISRAM, ignited, propelling the SM-3 up out of the atmosphere and into space. The velocity, direction, and control were provided by thrust vector control and an attitude control system. After the first pulse of the TISRAM, the missile pitched over, ejected the nose cone, exposing the SM-3 kinetic warhead, and pitched back toward the target vehicle. Then, the second TISRAM pulse was ignited. After burnout, the SM-3KW performed IR seeker calibration against the cold space background. The third stage then pointed toward the target, and the KW was ejected. The KW acquired the target in its field of view and began tracking and divert maneuvers. As the KW neared the intercept, the target image grew in the field of view. A direct hit! The FM-4 test achieved all of its primary test objectives. This was the first ever test to demonstrate ascent phase intercept of a ballistic missile target. This clearly demonstrates the utility of forward sea-based missile defenses. This was also the first mission to incorporate aim point shift. And, as the final frames indicate, the kinetic warhead selected and hit the predicted impact point, the telemetry system. The loss of telemetry further confirmed a mission success. Numerous ground, sea, and air-based platforms observed the intercept. The energy from the impact is calculated to be in excess of 125 megajoules, the equivalent of a 10-ton truck traveling over 600 miles per hour. This is the third successful intercept for the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Flight Test Project and paves the way for the eventual deployment of an Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense capability urgently needed by our friends, alloys, and our troops stationed overseas. Navy Ballistic Missile Defense. Reliable and always on target. <laughs>